And yes, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Little choreography number seven, last one of Salsations. I am very pleased that I've managed to do every day one different choreography with different isolations. So if anybody is new here in this video, Salsations is the meaning of isolation combinations or combinations of isolations. So if I do a body wave and a roll and a hand, these are three uh, isolations combined together. So you have a combination of isolations. All right. In the previous videos, I tried to put inside every new video something new. So that's what I'm going to do here as well, but also maintain some of the very fundamental movements that exist within Latin, of course. So guys, as always, I'm going to dance it because it's alsatians, animations with isolations. I'm going to have to dance it so you can see it from the back and also from the front. And after that, then I'll do it with counting. So you see, if you like it, you can take the lesson. And then after the lesson, we can do it to music together in all in the same video. How about it? Let's get started. All right, final one, number seven. I'm excited. Five, six, seven, two basics. One, two, three, medium speed. So you can see what we're doing. Two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, and five. And whoever was following the Salsations during this week, you're gonna find some things that I've already done, of course, in complete different mess and order, and in bars or speed. And at the end, I wanted to finish with one of the most uh, compact movement, which has uh, shoulders, wave, hip, another reverse wave, and a head roll. That's just lovely. And of course, like the last two, I got affected a little bit with Michael Jackson, I have to admit. And so I threw in the beginning what I like to call Michael Jackson's rubber legs. Okay, so let's see the whole thing from this side and I'll break it down slowly, slowly. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I hit the bench. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, uh. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And one, and five, six. All right, guys, let's get started with the lesson. I have to admit, up to now, all the other six that I did when I was showing it with the, without music, with count, it was not making me feel as tired as this one. So I think there's plenty of isolations to have fun with. And I'm going to have a video coming up on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, which I will be explaining you how to use these things and our combinations and not to overdo it by learning a whole choreography from here. If you just like one step or you learn the circular action movements of the shoulders, that's perfect. You pick, picked up one thing and then every time you add one more, one more, and then you create what I like to say, your own style. So let's get started. Okay, first with the basic. The second basic, we're going to end up in the Michael Jackson pose. That's twisting, twisting in the left foot and the right foot on the toe. All the body weight is over the left and you see that it's really upwardly bent towards inside, like it's almost broken. And the knee is very relaxed as well. We bring, twist it out, we bring the feet together, we lift them up on the ball of the feet 
heels off and then we're going to twist them back down and slide into the original starting position. That's the move guys. Of course if you see it slow, up, pa. If you leave it more relaxed and wobbly when you get stronger, you can even add a little bit of twirl, tu -tu -tu, or just do that. And one, two, you gotta finish by two, and then you go back, three, and you hit the accent. With Michael Jackson, it's For what it's worth, it's similar to us, one and two and three, and one and two and three, okay? So we do that only twice, Makes you tired, doesn't it? Pause the video, practice this slowly, watch it again when I do it in the front, and I'll do it right now, also again facing to the front so you can see the back view. One, two, three, one more basic. Get into that position, five, six, broken legs. Now rubber legs, one, two, shoulders, five, six, shoulders. Now the pachanga step, I have it right here, this step that I'm gonna do, guys. Not when we're coming back and we're doing circular, but if you figure it out from that step, you'll be able to do it. First time on one, we don't turn the foot, we just go one, like shooting a ball. Then when we go back with the foot, we're gonna twist on our heel, two back. And then three again, shoot, but twist on the ball of the foot of the left. Then on the heel, then on the ball, then on the heel. And you see this one keeps on going forward and back, okay? I'm not going to overanalyze it because I already have a video, but I think this is a move that you can pick it up nice and slow. So from this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's things that you can make it alive. You can bend down every time you go forward, play forward and back with your shoulders, and tap the fingers or twist them around. Panchanga technique. Then we're going to go to the other side by bending in the right foot and keep on moving like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only difference is, I'm gonna be doing forward and back my hip a little bit, and you see my left foot starts creating a little bit of a wave. Now if I control that wave, it will also give me a body wave here, and a circular action of the left foot. And it's a beautiful illusion, I used to use it when somebody was pulling me on the hip hop style. <laughs> So after we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see these circles and this isolation makes it all look very nice and sexy. <laughs> now it's easy here, it's just stepping, stepping, nothing complicated, but we have to try to add the reverse shoulders. All the previous six lessons, I think there was, not, there was only one lesson that I left out the reverse shoulders. I'll put the link right here, guys. I'll show it slowly. Reverse, right up, left down. This one comes from top down, and this one from down up, and they meet, and they change positions. This one is up, this one is down. Then they meet in the middle behind your back, and they're back into the beginning. One, two, three, four, and you part. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now being able to do this and be able to do this or moving around or even better taking steps while you're doing this creates a lot of illusion in the eyes of body isolations. So after we're done around, round, round, we will go shoulders, reverse, two easy steps. One, two, three, four, step to the side and go like crazy, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy shimmy even when you're cross so it's out and in now naturally sorry for moving back i don't have any more space we'll do the same thing just with the other foot round the world and take a step round the world and take a step move to the other side shimmy and shimmy now let's do it with a count one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna open up the feet and we've done many, many things here. We've done shoulders, we've done hip rolls, we've done moving to the side to side. Now we're gonna do, I don't know how to call them, spanks. <laughs> it's like you're punching somebody with your hip to the left. Boom, boom. And then you're moving to the other side. Boom, boom. And now we wanna do two figure eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, we'll pull us back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist to the diagonal towards, if this is 12 o'clock, this will be 10. So your hip goes towards 10, backwards, backwards, all the way to seven. And now you're ready to go at two o'clock and do it with your right and go all the way back to five before six. So if you see it from top, this looks like an hourglass when we're doing it. I'm expanding it a little bit more, not for the guys, I think more for the ladies if they're watching this video because the figure eight is one of the most beautiful things you can do in Latin with your hips, ladies. Salsa, bachata, anything that has this movement, kizomba, just looks beautiful. So after we've done this, five, six, seven, and we come back, we're gonna have our side wave, ding, 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 ding. You can finish it with hands if you like, you can finish it with down and up, or I like to shake the head a little bit. It pushes down the knees, you straighten them out and bend your whole body. Now your shoulder blades will move to the left and your hips back straight. Then you will return your shoulders in. That's it. Knees, straighten them out and bend, exchange positions and return to the front. There's a full detail explanation another video here because I know I'm going a little bit fast on them because we have a whole choreography. Bam, bam, boom, boom. That's one, two, three, four. Fling your head back like somebody's pulling you. Five, right, left, right. The right because we don't need to do four step. The one is already gone with the head. So one, two, three, and four. And the two is gone as well. So one, two, three, and four. Now, I love this move. Uh, I've shown similar things like moving hips like that, but now we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to start imagining that from this position, inside edge of the toe, we have to swivel and go to the toe, then go to the outside edge of your toe and step it down. So it creates a circle, if you think of those three points, inside edge, toe and outside edge. Then from here, the opposite. You're going to go outside edge, toe, and inside edge. So you can do this circle as well. Okay, it starts opposite, but it's in the same direction. So when you're here, try to think of the feet, but 80% look at my hip. It does a half a circle with one leg, and then a further half a circle to finish, right here, with the other foot. So basically I'm going one, two, three. Then the other side, five, six, seven. But we start here, so we end up one, two, three, funky, five, six, seven. Now from the other side, it goes to, without saying that you have to go on the toe again here, outside edge of your heel, bring it down, lift the other one, <laughs> go back in and apply this thing going around. Okay, so let's count it. We just went back, six, seven. And at the same time we start, we want to slide a little bit open. We don't want to do this with closed feet. You could, but it's not going to look as nice. I hope I'm in the frame, guys. Yesterday's video, some, most of the times, my feet on the basic was cut off. Thank God it was only the basic. It was 12 o'clock at night. I had to finish the video. I apologize for that cut off of my feet in the video yesterday. <laughs> it was very funny. I had no idea until I checked it at the end. Too. Okay, where were we? I got stuck. <laughs> well, yeah, with the second rubber feet. So we slide back and we start one, two, three, five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now, how many times do we actually do it? Two times. One, two, one side, five, six, seven. I apologize. Three times. And the last one. One, two, three. And because the heel is up, when I push it down, it will straighten out my chest and allow me to come in with the hip as well to create a semi-good illusion of a body wave a reverse going from down up. And then my hands can follow by lifting up the shoulders, then the elbows, then the hands, and we have seven. Reverse it back, bend the fingers in, lift the elbows, go back, down, Go back up without any hands, lean, and drag yourself back into the front. A little bit complicated? All right, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Enjoy this one. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last eight that has the most things packed into it is when we do from here, seven, eight. We're going to do one reverse shoulder. And when you do one, you come to a part where you straighten out your chest. So when your chest goes straight, you're going to execute a body wave down and bend your knees. Right when your knees are coming to bend, you're going to go to the left and execute a hip roll. All right, so we have round to the front to a body wave to the left hip roll. And now that your hip roll is coming to the front, you're going to use that to hit the hip, hit the hip and go back up again. That's still in one eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right when I'm finishing here my chest, my head drops to the side only 15 minutes, comes to the front and flicks up. I have this in one or two of the other videos as well, but they might come from a larger, bigger movement or a small movement. This one comes from a reverse, sorry, from a regular hip to a half a body wave and the head roll to finish. And that's it guys, that was our last choreography for Salsations. I know it didn't get a lot of response because you're used to having combinations for the mini malls, but I do realize that a lot of people that are looking for uh, footwork, which there are millions of them, and they're looking for styling, which there are millions of them. But the typical salsa styling is uh, the typical salsa styling, which I love and adore, and I do it in shows exactly. But I always like to add something extra, something different. And why? Because it's the fundamental law of salsa. Salsa is created through Argentine tango, lambada, ballroom dances, acrobatics. That's why one of them is called LA salsa, Los Angeles salsa. The, um, how would you would say the show style salsa and then it turned into a social dance. Okay, but of course if you're dancing on one or two, it really doesn't matter. It does matter to be able to be a good dancer with your partner, but also without your partner. If somebody comes up to you and say, oh, you dance salsa, can you show me a little bit? No, I need a partner. You haven't learned your body yet. So take these seven lessons and I really did them. Even with not a lot of response, I finished them because I think sometimes in the future, these lessons will get a lot of appreciation because you learn so much isolation in each video. And there are many helpful videos to go and analyze each movement. Sorry for the long yap yap guys, it's just the last video, I'm a little bit emotional. And as annoying as I am always, I'm gonna do the whole thing without music one last time with you, medium speed, so we can warm it up, especially the brain, and then put music and have fun with it. Let's go. Counting first, and last time, we can do this. Five, six, one more. Let's get into the position for rubber legs. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, raka ka ka seven, eight. One, two, three, four, raka ka ka seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, five, six, and seven. That's it, guys. I hope you like it. Let's go to music. <laughs>
Sorry, I'm watching One Piece with Luffy, and there is this uh, one of the characters is always saying "eha" every time he sees somebody he likes. So I'm very happy with this. I just managed to finish seven days in a row. Uh, I was actually waiting for my partner to come uh, at nine o'clock at night every day, so I can use her phone, which is much better than me. But as good as you can see it now, it's a old iPhone 7, I think. But at least we can do some qualities of videos. And every night I had to do the video and finish it by 10, do the editing and get it on before the day changes. So I'm gonna stop with my yap yap. I'm gonna tell you thank you very much for coming and watching. And I hope you're happy. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them in the comments uh, section below. Like, subscribe, bell icon. And if you like to support for a better camera and keep us going, there's donation links through PayPal Safe. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.